What's up guys, LQ here with the LQ Review. Thank you for joining me here at my YouTube channel. This is my right out of the theater reaction for Argyle. All right, this movie is the definition of a mixed bag movie. Like, I don't really know how I feel about it in terms of positive or negative review, to be honest with you. Um, it's very much a mixed bag. So let's talk about the good stuff. The good stuff, the cast. Obviously the cast is great. Um, Sam Rockwell, Bryce Dallas Howard were awesome. Um, you had just, uh, some, some really great supporting characters in here. Um, Samuel L. Jackson was a lot of fun. Obviously Henry Cavill, John Cena, you know, they're not in the movie much, but when they do pop up, it's a lot of fun and they do a great job. The plot took a lot of twist. I actually had a really great time. It kept me on, on the edge of my seat, not really sure what was going to happen next as far as the plot was concerned. Um, it did take a lot of twists and turns that, uh, that you know, you may or may not have been expecting. I know that a lot of them caught me by surprise. I went into this pretty, pretty fresh. I'd only seen one trailer once or twice, so I, I didn't really have a lot of... Um, preconceived notions going into this. I didn't try to outsmart the movie. I just went in to experience it. And with that in mind, there was a lot of twists that, like I said, they worked for me. They caught me by surprise and they, uh, um, I, I wasn't expecting them. All right. Those are the good things, right? The twist, the plot was pretty good. The, char the characters, the actors, they were all great. What didn't work for me? What's kind of keeping me from saying, yes, this is a positive review? It didn't know. I don't think this movie knew what it wanted to be. Now, I love Matthew Vaughn. I think Matthew Vaughn's a great director. Um, he's had some misses just like anybody else. But I, this just felt very... There were two sides to this. It, it, one side was a straight spy story like a James Bond story right like they were playing it straight and they were taking it seriously and then there was this other side of it that was just campy and and almost a parody of, of spy movies now I think I would have been good with one or the other but they kept switching back and forth Matthew Vaughn kept switching back back and forth between parody and playing it straight and it really just kind of got to be jarring the moments that he went full camp, full parody, it was very jarring because it would come right after another moment that was playing it serious and playing it very straight. So the movie itself, it just jarred you at times. You was like, oh, okay, we're doing that now. Oh, this is serious. Oh, okay, now we're doing that. It was just odd. It was an odd choice to make to be so kind of back and forth between the tone of the film. Uh, this movie sold a bill of goods that maybe you didn't get. <laughs> um, I think that the marketing really focused a lot on Henry Cavill, focused a lot on uh, John Cena. And let's be honest, those two characters are barely in this movie. Um, Henry Cavill's in it more than John Cena is. But neither one of them are in it a lot. And then there was some choices that were made during some action sequences where Bryce Dallas Howard's character Ellie she would be seeing she would be seeing somebody fighting and then she would blink her eyes and it would be somebody else that she's seeing now it makes sense in the context of the story why she's seeing that especially after seeing the whole movie again it was still jarring though it it really just kind of took you out of it a little bit it it i don't know what what the word i'm looking for is it just those sequences where she was seeing um, one character and then seeing another, it didn't work for me. And it kind of it bothered me in the moment. Like I said, after seeing the whole movie, it makes sense in the context of the movie, but it still bothered me while it was happening. And that's not a good thing. The movie was definitely too long. Uh, during the middle, I got a little bored. There was a lot of exposition in the middle of the movie. And I think that they could have tightened that up a little bit and made the movie run a little more smooth because that middle part of the movie it just really kind of drug on and like I said I got a little bored there was a lot of fun to be had here though don't get me wrong some of the action sequences were a ton of fun 
And even some of the moments where the movie goes into parody, there's one scene in particular near the end where uh, they're fighting in a hallway and there's a lot of smoke that was a lot of fun. It was full on parody and it was completely silly, but for whatever reason, I was smiling and really enjoying it. So yeah, you hear me kind of going back and forth during this review because I was back and forth during the movie. It was a mixed bag for me. There was stuff I really liked and there was stuff that I didn't like so much. And a lot of the stuff that I didn't like so much didn't have anything to do with story or performances. It had to do with director choices. Um, and like I said, normally I really like Matthew Vaughn. So yeah, I I don't know if I could go negative or positive on this one. I'm, I'm leaning towards positive just because there was so many fun moments in this. But man, it's, it's conflicting. It's definitely conflicting. There is a mid credit scene that um, makes an attempt to tie this movie into a larger universe. You'll know it the second you see it. And quite frankly, I don't know how I feel about that either. <laughs> I don't know exactly how that works. Um, so this movie also leaves a lot of those questions. Like, how does this work? You know, what is some of the backstory here? Where are they going? Is this movie going to even do good enough that it's going to warrant another movie? It doesn't sound like it's going to. So there's just a lot of questions here on choices that Matthew Vaughn made that I'm just not sure how I feel about them. Performances were good. Overall, I thought the plot was fine. There's just a lot of, a lot of back and forth, <coughs> a lot of back and forth that just really didn't work for me. I wish they would have chosen a tone that Matthew Vaughn would have chosen a tone and stuck with it and chosen a direction and stuck with it. But instead he was kind of all over the place, bouncing back and forth. And it just uh, left me, like I said, it just left me kind of jarred a few times. So um, should you go see it? Yeah, absolutely. I think you should go see it. You know, I think we should support films that are released in theaters. Um, as, as film fans, we should get out there and support the theaters and, and support the, the cinema. Um, you know, I didn't hate it. If I hated it, I'd say, yeah, don't go. But I didn't hate it. I was mixed on it. But the fact that I was mixed on it, you might like it. You might love it. You might walk out saying, man, that was one of the best action spy movies, parodies, Henry Cavill, not films that I've seen in a long time. I don't know. Um, but it was a mixed bag for me. So I think you should go see it, check it out, and uh, let me know in the comments what you think. All right. Thank you for joining me here at the LQ Review. I really appreciate it when you guys come by, listen to my, uh, listen to my opinions. Um, feel free to subscribe. I would love it if you did that. And until next time, we'll see you guys later.